Welcome to another video. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that stuff. It is that time of year. And I'm going to leave you with a gift this time on this video. So if you are interested in tethering uh, through USB, uh, your Pentax K1, K1 Mark II, KP, K3 Mark III, K33 Monochrome, I believe those are the cameras that it covers, uh, if I recall correctly. But anyway, as a Pentaxian, we all very well know that the image transmitter software is next to impossible to find. I'm all for supporting the company. It is a very expensive software. You can get it at B&H Photo uh, for 360 something dollars US. And it, it's, I don't know. I, to me, like that's pretty cost prohibitive for what it does. Uh, but I have good news. There is a workaround where you can install the, insta the updated installer from the Pentax site and it will look for specific folder structures and then it will think that the original is on your computer and the updater will install and you'll be good to go fully functional way to tether your camera utilizing the Pentax software so to get started you what you need to do is create two folders sorry one folder actually yes it is two folders you need a folder and then a subfolder so uh, you're going to create a Pentax folder and then you're going to create an image transmitter to folder. Do not create a image transmitter folder. It has to have the number two. And then from there, if you're a Windows user, you're going to create a notepad file and you're going to name that one image transmitter two, and then you will save that and then rename the .txt at the end and rename the .txt to .exe so it becomes executable. You're leaving a blank notepad file. You're just opening up notepad, file, save as, and then immediately saving the image transmitter to .txt file, then go back, rename it, uh, find where you saved it, rename it to .exe. And then you're going to do the same thing for uh, I think it was IT viewer dot txt and then rename that to dot exe i'm going to show you uh the whole process and uh give you a quick demo on image transmitter too so you're welcome and if you have any questions let me know but let's just dive in and see how the flow goes so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to this pc and then go to your c drive click on program files x86 and select new and then select folder and what you're going to be creating is a pentax folder and then within the pentax folder create another one called image transmitter 2 just how i have it shown here that's very important for this whole thing to work then you're going to create an image transmitter 2 file and an it viewer file so open up notepad and then as soon as you open notepad you're not going to type anything in the main window you're just going to go straight to file save as i've already done it here but you're going to go file save as and you're going to name this image transmitter 2. it will save as a txt file we're going to rename that afterwards and then repeat the same process again blank page just go to file save as and create your it viewer txt file once you have both of those set and don't forget to save those both on your desktop so they're easy to find once you've done that you'll find it here on the desktop you just right click go to rename and only rename the very end of txt and rename it to exe so it becomes an executable file say yes to the prompt now it's changed now you can copy this over to your original location that you want it to be in, which again is the C program files x86 Pentax image transmitter to folder, which I show here and just paste it in, say continue to the prompt or yes or whatever, just so you know, whatever your prompt is, just let it go. And now you have your image transmitter 2.exe file. 
do the same thing again for the IT viewer file and you should be good to go. I'm just showing here more of the exact things that you need to do. And now we'll move on to the extended instructions just so it's better understood. So just to recap, navigate to C program files x86, select new folder and name it Pentax. Then inside the new Pentax folder, create another folder called image transmitter 2. Then you're going to create the files. So open notepad and then step two with notepad open, just immediately click on file, save as and name it image transmitter 2 exactly how I have it written. Save it to your desktop and then do the same thing to create your IT viewer file. Once you've finished both of those, then you're going to rename the file extension. So right click the image transmitter 2 file you just saved on your desktop and select rename and replace only the .txt with .exe and accept or say yes to any prompts that pop up and do the same thing for the itviewer.txt file that you also just created. Here's an example of what you need to replace. Only the portion that's highlighted in blue. You're changing it from txt to exe. Now you're going to put the exe files into your newly created image transmitter 2 folder. So right click the image transmitter 2.exe file that you just renamed on your desktop and select copy. Now you're going to paste it into your C program files x86 Pentax image transmitter 2 folder that you created. Accept any prompts that come along the way and do the same thing for itviewer.exe. One thing to keep in mind is make sure you have that number two at the end of image transmitter or this whole thing will not work. Once you've made sure that your folder structure and file structure, everything is good and it's still not functioning, right click on the desktop shortcut from the installation and go to compatibility and go down and click on run as administrator. One step I did skip, but I thought it was pretty self-explanatory is once you've done the folders and all that stuff, then download the uh, file from the Pentax website and run the program, uh, the installation for the updater. And it should find the quote unquote old program and fire up as you see here. Now I am going to kind of go through here uh, some of the camera settings so you can trigger live view right away and I created my own folder where I'm going to be saving my image transmitter files and once you take a shot then boom they immediately show up right away with no hiccups nothing you can adjust the exposure you, you can control practically everything with the camera right through the image transmitter app so it is a very good piece of software and for pentax tethering through usb this is your absolute best option unfortunately it's just almost impossible to get hence this workaround so that we can actually utilize it some may agree some may disagree but it is what it is this is actually out on the internet I'm not the only one who's figured this out, but in case you were not aware, there is a way to get this updater to function completely with your Pentax camera without the need for the original cost prohibitive software that is extremely scarce and very hard to find. At least here in Canada, I haven't been able to find it. In the US, you can get it at B&H Photo, as I mentioned before. Uh, now, one thing to also keep in mind, as I said, if you create your folder structure and you only put image transmitter, this will fail. It will not find the installation folder and it will just fail. So you have to make sure you name it as image transmitter two. You have to put the number two in there or you're doing all of this for nothing. And that's really all there is to it. So, I mean, as you can see here, it works great. It's got zooming in, it's got live view focus, focus peaking, the whole nine, every option's there. 
So there you have it, how to get Image Transmitter 2 to work on your computer, at least on a Windows computer. I am not a Mac person, you'll have to look that info up yourself if you're using Mac. But for Windows, I hope that this video helps. As my promise always is to you guys, I always try to give back to the community somehow. And I think this is the best way to go about doing this, especially around the holidays where we are celebrating the spirit of giving. So I'm giving you this gift from me to you after years of people struggling to try to get this to work. I have found the way. If you have any issues with this, uh, you know, leave a comment. I'll help you out as much as I can. I've done it myself, so I know it works. I've done it on both my computers, so it's not a one-time thing. It wasn't a fluke. It actually does work. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have not subscribed already, things like this, man, you really should. You really should. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it. Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope you are all staying safe and enjoying time with family, friends, and all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out.